Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Uh, today we are going to see about display file. Instead I can say sub file since most of our friends are requested for this. Uh, today we are going to see a very very basic sub file of displaying a, a whole physical file uh, using load all method. Uh, just to give some background, uh, sub file will be having two main things. One is a control format and the other one is the data format or data section. So you can see right, uh, even this is actually a sub file. Okay, so because uh, if I click page down right, so we can see these things are getting changed, correct? Page up, page down. So this is actually the data portion and the things which is static or not changing is called the control portion. So subfile will basically have a control section and also a data section. So I have a database called student PF. So this is having this much records. So we're just going to display all the records using subfile. Okay, so let's create the subfile. So F6. So I'm going to name the subfile as uh, stud001d and it's going to be a display file. Enter. Okay, enter file. So then I'm going I'm giving 17. Okay, I'm going to create uh, a subfile data. Enter. So my record format is SFL data. I'm going to say this is actually via SFL, which is subfile enter then it will ask for you the control record so sfl ctl is our control record enter okay you can press enter. enter okay so now what happened we have created a data record and also a control record and this control record is belongs to this data record okay so now let's give some important indicators okay this is a small checklist to create a basic subfile okay so subfile control will have these indicators or the keywords okay subfile page is how many records per page needed subfile size is on the whole how many records the subfile will contain and then a display indicator display control indicator sfl end is the end indicator and then uh, sfl clear so here you can see we have a same indicator for display display control and end and uh, neg negative or the opposite indicator of the same uh, indicator for clear so this will become very handy because uh, when if you want to clear it right okay so we just we can uh, switch off this indicator 50 so that n50 will be uh, on and then we can clear the sub uh, sub file so will this we will see these things in the coding section and we need to define a rrn RN, rrn is a or it's not necess necessarily to be rrn it's any variable which will have the record number of a subfile so this will be a data type of 4s0 because uh, a subfile can maximum hold 9999 uh, records so that's why we can have this variable as 4s0 and these are the steps which we are going to use in the rpgle so now let's go and do our uh, subfile uh, creation okay so i'm going to take a 8 here which is control and then i'm going to choose a general keyword so in general keyword i'm going to say my display indicator is 50 and i need to display the control record also with the same indicator 50 and then the clear is n50 and n is again a 50 and i want uh, this more to be displayed at the bottom if you choose this right we'll be getting something like this in our subfile okay enter so this is a general keyword and then the layout keyword we are going to see our subfile will be a maximum of 100 record it will hold and it will display 10 records per page give enter give enter okay now let's do the design 12 so we're going inside the control so control is the upper portion which is a static one so i'm going to give uh, date time so you can give uh, anything you want i'm going to have it as a uh, i want a blue color and then i'm going to have a high intensity underline so these are some options you can play with okay and if you want to move this uh, you can move something like this maybe this will be helpful to get helpful for you Okay, so this this is going to be my header section and F12 
and I'm going inside the data. You can see right if you go to the data, it is displaying the control section also. So we can have the data anywhere after the control section. So I'm going to take uh, okay, I'm going to have my student PF variable here. So I'm taking F10. Um, we can give the database file library and take F4, choose the record format, and then it will ask you the which format. I'm going to select the output format 3333. Three, three, three. And once selected, right, press enter, the variables are displayed in the bottom. So if you want to use this, right, uh, okay, this is starting portion. So ambassent one, one means I'm going to select the student number. So it will display the student number. So you can see it, dis it displays 10 times because we gave the subfile page size is 10. And then I'm going to take uh, name and then department then grade something is missing which is the heading so heading cannot be a subfield data because it will be a static so we need to give that in the control section so i'm going to the control section again so i have given some headings here and i have added some colors okay so now let's um, save this and then compile it let's compile perfectly now let's write the rpg -L f6 stud 001 or it's rpg only okay i have declared the pf and then a display file it will be a cf okay and then it's workstation and then we have a subfile called uh, sfl data and uh, rrn1 is the variable which is, go which is going to hold the record uh, the record number of each uh, data in subfile data I have now added the variable rrn which is going to be a 4s0 so this is going to be our coding uh, we are going to execute we are going to clear the subfile and then we are going to load the subfile and we are going to display the subfile okay now let's check what we are going to do so in clear we are going to switch on the clear indicator and then we are going to write the control record and then we are going to make the rrn equal to 0 so this is our clear subroutine so we are switching off the indicator 50 and then writing control record this is because um, switching off will make this indicator to be on so we are switching on the clear indicator actually and then writing the control record so that will clear the sub file and then we need to load the sub file again ok in load sr what we are going to do we are going to do set ll low val student pf ok and then we are going to read student pf do while not uif of student pf so for each record we are increasing the rrn and we are writing the data and then reading the next record so we are done so i think uh, we have completed the, this thing i will reduce the screen size you will see the whole picture so this is it so, okay so we have a main routine which will do a load so clear then load and then display so clear will have uh, three like three lines oh here we need to initialize that so i forgot we initialize the rrn okay okay let's quickly compile this and then we call that's it so we got the first sub file so we have a more indicator and then we have the control section if you press page down so it's displaying the all the records so this is a very basic load alpha file so in the coming videos we will see the different kind of subfiles and other features thanks for watching